beautiful doll, right? One hundred percent nice. Yes, I don't believe. It's a shame such a doll wastes all her time being good. How can she get any money from that? Maybe she wants to be submission. Yeah. Hey, baby Selsh. Harry the horse. How are you? You know nice and nice, Johnson. Yeah, I do. Nice and nice and thank you. Tell me, does it make the choice of a thing? <coughs>
she got a cold and it's across the street and uh, there's a lot of open mantles around. Aw, Nathan, you're so thoughtful. You're just the sweetest person. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, Masterson. Glad to see you, Sky. Hey, did you open more to you? How you been, Sky? Feel <clears throat> great. Feel great, Nathan. Just spent two wonderful weeks out west in Nevada. Great place. Beautiful scenery, helpful climate, and I'd be in for 50 G's at Blackjack. 50 G's? You gonna be in town long? No. Flying to Havana. Tomorrow. Havana? Yes. There's a lot of action down there. Wanna come? Nah, I got a lot of things to do. Meantime, how about dropping over to Mindy's for a piece of cheesecake? They sell a lot of cheesecake. Nah, I'm not hungry. Tell me, how's that with it? Fine, fine, still uh, dancing with the hot box. I suppose one of these days we'll be getting married. Well, we all gotta go sometime. <laughs> but Nathan, we can fight. Guys like us, Nathan, we gotta remember that as pleasant as a doll's company may be, she must always take second place to aces. Back to back. Yeah, yeah. Tell me, you hungry yet? How about dropping over to Mindy's for a piece of cheesecake or uh, a strudel or something? No, I think I'll go get the late results. All right, but you will admit that Mindy's has some of the greatest cheesecake in the world. Yes, I'm quite partial to Mindy's cheesecake. No way. And yet, there are some people who prefer Mindy's strudel. Oh, and which do you think he sells more? Cheesecake or strudel? Well, I never gave it much thought. But if anybody's like I am, I'd say Mindy sells much more cheesecake than strudel. For how much? Huh? For how much? Why, well, Nathan, never needs to be a bidding man. You always take the percentage off the top. Well, for uh, old time's sake, I thought I'd give you a little action. So what do you say? I would bet you $1,000 that yesterday, Mindy sold more strudel than cheesy. Nathan, let me tell you this story. Uh -huh. When I was a young man, about to go into the world, my father says to me a very delicate thing. He says to me like this, Son, the old guy says, I am sorry I am not able to bank for you to a very large start. But not having any potatoes to give you, I am now going to stake you to some very valuable advice. One of these days, a guy is going to come to you and show you a nice brand new deck of cards in which the seal is not yet broken. And this guy is going off to bet you that he can make a jack of spades jump out of the deck and split cider in the ear. But son, do not bet this man, but as sure as you stand there, you don't want it to be a little side. Now, hey, I don't claim to be clocking in his cheese. Hey, 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 you don't think that. However, if you're really looking for some action, I'll bet you the same thousand that you do not know the color of the necktie you have on. Well? No bet. Purple! What a crazy color! Uh, Nathan, we took that way to the drugstore. Don't bother me, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys. Good, how's it with you? Nice and nice. Mm. Not bad. We took Adelaide to the drugstore, and she says for you to be sure to pick her up after the show at the hot box and uh, don't be late. <laughs> yes, dear. I mean, yes, dear. 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 But I don't know no more. I love that. And the guy without a dog, well, if the guy does not have a dog, who would all rap? A dog is a necessity. Hey, I'm not putting the rap on dogs. I just say a guy should have them around when he wants them. And they're easy to find. Not dogs like animals. Hey, Ethan, bring them away for age, all dogs are the same. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Then how come you ain't got a dog? How come you're going to the van out of Without one. I like to travel light. But if I wish to take it all the van, there's a large assortment available. Not real high class dogs. Any dog, you name it. Any dog. And I name it. Will you bet on it? Will you 
Hey, that's wrong. What's wrong? That's not Proverbs. It's Isaiah. It's Proverbs. So, no peace unto the wicked. Isaiah chapter 57, verse 22.
like that? What are you picking a guy or a horse? Don't 
be so sure ain't a horse, it's a dog. But Joey. Nathan, there'll be no cracking you tomorrow unless I get my dough in advance. <laughs> Listen, Joey, you've known me for a long time. <laughs> and that's why I want it in advance. <laughs> well, I can't talk no more. I gotta meet Adelaide at the hot house. Listen, Joey, just one last thing before I go. Can I at least tell the boys that the game is gonna be at your place? Not till I get the dough! Fine! You'll have it! Goodbye! Goodbye! Yeah, I hope you get stabbed by a stupid!
you a bushel and a peck that lousy Joe need no more. Hello, Nathan. Hello, Pie Face. How are you, handsome? Fine. What have you got there? A book. A book. You're always reading books. You're becoming a regular bookie, eh? eh? <laughs> Cheer up. 
up, honey. Let's see that little smile. That's funny, girl. I'll see you tomorrow. It says here, <clears throat> the average unmarried female basically Go and fall in love with his own fiance. 
and the moon. That is a weakness. And we should be tolerant. Because I am told it is a worldwide weakness. Look! Sarah could be a big success here. I'm glad you're 
glad to hear you say that, but I'm not so certain. Dalo gets a 10. General, I make a suggestion. Yes. Why don't you come to the meeting tomorrow night and find out for yourself? Don't you think that'd be a good idea? Oh! 
Oh, it's a bachelor dinner. It's a bachelor dinner. Yes, sir, a bachelor dinner. Just think, after 14 years, I'm finally going to become Mrs. Megan Detroit. <laughs> Time certainly does fly. <laughs> Tell me, Nathan, when will be the happy day? Uh, well... Tell me, Nathan. Nathan, these are fine. Gentlemen, we're kind enough to throw you a bachelor dinner. The least you can do is tell them the wedding date. Well, <coughs> we need time for a license and a blood test. Gee, wouldn't it be wonderful if we could get married tomorrow night, right after the show at the hot box? Emily, we need time for a license. You could elope? What? Yes, Nathan, you could drive down to Maryland. What's the name of that town? Pimlico. No, not Pimlico. <coughs> Elton! Nathan, they'll marry you right away. They don't ask for a blood test. Ain't that a Nathan, that is a great idea. Hello. I'll end you my favorite Like you. Nathan, let's do it! Well, <laughs> what the hell? My congratulations too, Nathan. I only hope there will be nothing in heredity. <laughs> Nathan, I got so much to do before we look. Do we have a hot box tomorrow night? I'll have a table reserved and I'll be dressed up in uh, whatever you will open. <laughs> I'm so happy. I have to wire my mother. Only what will I tell her? Mm. Ooh, just send a telegram and date it back. I better wait until we have five kids. It won't take us long. <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> five kids, huh? Nathan, you want Dean, a lucky fellow, uh, those beautiful dogs, Dean. Don't you agree, Big Tell me. How long have you know the dog? Fourteen years. Let's shoot crap. Nathan, uh, Nathan, you better find a place. How can I? The money from Sky ain't come yet. Maybe it won't come. He, he took that ball with Anna. How could he? He couldn't have. She couldn't have gone.
It's over, you feel it change. You all right? Am I all right?
You say it yourself, Guy. It's no good. Why not? What the hell type of doll are you anyways? An admission doll! <laughs>